But first to the other big news out of Washington, Speaker Kevin McCarthy, who you just saw greenlighting an impeachment inquiry of President Biden, saying that House investigators have found, quote, a culture of corruption around the family and that the American people deserve answers. Watch this. These are allegations of abuse of power, obstruction, and corruption. And they warrant further investigation by the House of Representatives. That's why today I am directing our House committee to open a formal impeachment inquiry into President Joe Biden. This logical next step will give our committees the full power to gather all the facts and answers for the American public. That's exactly what we want to know, the answers. I believe the president would want to answer these questions and allegations as well. I do not make this decision lightly. And regardless of your party or who you voted for, these facts should concern all Americans. So White House spokesman telling Fox, quote, opening impeachment despite zero evidence of wrongdoing by President Biden is simply red meat for the extreme right wing so they can keep baselessly attacking him. Uh, let's bring in Mark Thiessen, former chief speechwriter for President George W. Bush, now an American Enterprise Institute senior fellow and Washington Post columnist. Tommy Lahren, host of Tommy Lahren is Fearless on Outkick and Richard Fowler, host of The Fowler Show, all our Fox News contributors. Great to have all of you with us. Thank you very much for being here today. Um, Good to be with you. Mark, let me start with you. Uh, you know, originally, Kevin McCarthy said that he was going to do this in a very methodical way, that he was going to call for a vote of the House before proceeding with this inquiry. And now he appears to have skipped that step, which is what Nancy Pelosi did in the Trump inquiries uh, for these impeachments. Was that a mistake? No, I mean, look, the Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats set the precedent here. I mean, let's put aside the merits of this impeachment inquiry for a second. What did Democrats think was going to happen? They, they have so abused the, the, our political institutions, our judicial institutions for years. They First, they pushed the Trump-Russia collusion investigation, which turned out to be nothing more than a conspiracy theory. Then they impeached Donald Trump for a phone call with Zelensky that was shameful but not impeachable. Then, then and, and on top of that, after he was acquitted in a, in a trial, now Georgia is retrying him for the crimes that he was allegedly uh, that he allegedly committed that he was acquitted for in an impeachment trial uh, they, they went out they've gone after him with Alvin Bragg's indictment they've gone after him in, in so many all these things that they've done did they think that there was not going to be any blowback did they think that, that the Republicans were not going to turn around and say, OK, you set the precedent. We're going to you use these all these tools against us. We're going to use them against you. And by the way, then also using those same institutions to protect Joe and Hunter Biden and the, and the Hunter Biden family. Coll the, a collusion between the FBI, the intelligence community and the media to, uh, to suppress the Hunter Biden laptop story, a sweetheart deal with Hunter Biden plea deal that was thrown out by a judge. So Republicans are looking at this and saying, one, they're using these institutions. This is fair game. And two, we don't trust the institutions anymore, so we need the tools of the impeachment inquiry to go after to 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 get to the bottom of this story, which is a legitimate uh, inquiry uh, as to as to whether or not there was corruption in the Biden family. Yeah, well, I think that becomes a question. You know, I mean, do they have the evidence uh, to to prove this? Because you, you want to be have have a clear line through this inquiry, because these allegations are very serious, and there is quite a bit of evidence that points in this direction that has been. Covered on this by the Oversight Committee. But Richard Fowler, what do you say to that? You know, Mark says, look, Democrats asked for this. They, they went in, you know, for the jugular over and over and over again. And this is now turnabout is fair play. Well, thanks for having me, Martha. And I think to answer your question, to speak to Mark's point, objectively, the idea that Republicans are using this for payback on the president might be the problem. It might, it might land terribly with the American people. But let's actually talk about the politics of this for just a minute. To look at this impeachment in a vacuum is a big mistake. This impeachment is happening just days away from a potential government shutdown where Kevin McCarthy, if the votes were to happen tonight, does not have enough votes to keep the government funded. At the same time, to your initial question that you asked, Mark, 
If Kevin McCarthy were to put a bill on the floor to start an impeachment inquiry like Nancy Pelosi did twice, he does not have enough votes to pass that through the House of Representatives. So right now, Kevin McCarthy is between a rock and a hard place. He also, there's, there's a very real likelihood that this impeachment inquiry could finish, and Kevin McCarthy might not be the Speaker of the House in this moment. So there's a lot of politics at play here, and I think the politics is actually trumping the evidence, which there doesn't seem to be enough clear evidence to stand the disinfection of a courtroom to prove that Joe Biden has indeed committed high crimes well, and misdemeanors why, enough yeah, to call Richard, an impeachment that, inquiry. I understand. That, that is why you have the inquiry. It, it does allow additional subpoena power that could bring forth some yes. of this, in, this, you know, there, there are allegations that the president and his son were bribed in Ukraine. Uh, Grassley has been told that recordings exist of that. Tommy, let me bring you in here, because let's talk about the evidence that you see substantiates the need for this very serious step that was taken by Kevin McCarthy today. There is so much evidence. We are tripping over evidence. But I do believe that the reason for this impeachment inquiry is to have more tools at their disposal to really prove it to the American people. Unfortunately, all the good work that they have done to bring forward all the evidence, it hasn't been received by the American people in such a way that would convince them that there is hard evidence. So that's why this impeachment inquiry is a great tool. However, I do agree that it is going to be maybe precarious when it comes to the 2024 election. I think the best thing for 2024 in Republicans' view is to run against Joe Biden. If an impeachment inquiry were successful, then think about this. We are left with Kamala Harris. That's a disturbing thought to think of. And whether our candidate is Donald Trump or Ron DeSantis, running against Joe Biden is our best bet. So Republicans, we don't have the luxury of being Democrats. If we take a shot at the big guy, we better land that punch. Because if we don't, I think it spells trouble for 2024. Mark, so we're back to you one more time here. Do you you agree with that? I do. Well, I mean, look, he's not going to be convicted because the Democrats control the Senate and they're never going to and they're never going to convict him. So this is just like the, uh, the Trump wasn't convicted. But look, we've had in our first 222 years of existence, we had two presidential impeachments. In the last three years, this will be the third if this because if this happens. This our politics is careening out of control, and it's because the Democrats in, in, they, they they feel that Joe that Donald Trump is such a threat to our democracy that they can destroy the institutions and undermine the institutions and use whatever tactics they want to stop him. And what they are doing is they are doing more damage to our institutions in their efforts to stop Donald Trump than Trump ever did to our institutions to begin with. I mean, on January sixth, all our institutions held, but now everything's all the wheels are coming off because of these politicized prosecutions. Now they're talking about using the 14th Amendment to kick him off the ballots, which is essentially doing the exact same thing they accuse him of pressuring Mike Pence of doing on January 6th, now, of using a ceremonial position of the Secretary of State to kick somebody off the ballot and invalidate an election. Now, they, Mark, it's, it's like anything goes if you Mark, if, fair, if it's, if it's the cause to stop we, Donald Trump. We got to wrap it up, Richard. I mean, just give me 20 seconds. Go ahead. We all witnessed January 6th. And to be fair, January 6th was a clear threat to our institutions. And for us right, not but they to held, say that. Is what Mark said. No, it did hold, but to not punish the I'm people not, who I did don't disagree that, with that. To not punish people who did that is one thing. But to say, to, 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 to compare January 6th to what seems to be some very shallow, if that, evidence that there could be a potential bribery are completely two to different things. completely <laughs> undermining the Justice <laughs> you know, Department, seriously, weaponizing no, the Justice I, Department. I mean, th there is <laughs> no doubt. The invasion of the Capitol during the counting of the presidential listen, votes guys, and a potential listen, of bribery are two different things. The, there is no Everybody doubt. Everybody did their job on January 6th. There's yeah, no there doubt. Hold on, hold on. Capitol, Please, though. guys. There, we can go over. We could be here all day uh, on that. But, <laughs> but there is clear. There's clear evidence that has been uncovered of all of these bank accounts, all of these shell companies, the money that was coming in from all of these countries. And Joe Biden, the president, said he had no understanding of what his son was doing. And yet, we have meetings where they were together, phone calls where they were both listening in. So there is a reason to look into this. You can't be disingenuous and say that none of that matters. But the question of whether or not this is politically advantageous for, de for Republicans is another issue that I think is going to play out over time. So I got to leave it there. Thank you very much, uh, Richard and Tommy and Mark. Great group. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.